Turn to page 277. Take out your highlighter. The first thing you can highlight is this. What is going to happen when you have something y equals x squared plus q? What is that q going to do? That q is going to move it up or down. So you can highlight this right underneath, and they have a couple of examples for us. Here they have x squared plus 2. That moved it up 2. Here they have x squared minus 3. That moves it down 3. But we already discovered that. Next, the effect of changing the letter p if we write x minus p squared. That moves it left and right. And so if you have x minus 2 squared, with the negative sign, that moved it 2 to the right. And if you have an x plus 3 squared, that moves it 3 to the left. Next thing to highlight is what happens if there's a number in front. Well, if the number is bigger than 1, like 2x squared, it gets narrower. And one thing we might want to put, right, when a equals 1, it goes like over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5. But when a is equal to 2, it goes over 1, up 2, over 1, up 6, over 1, up 10. So all of those numbers are doubled as a result when a equals 2. And if the number is between 0 and 1, like 0 0.5, okay, that one, when a equals 0 0.5, you would go over 1 up 0 0.5, then over 1 up 1.5, then over 1 up 2.5. So basically, this is 1 over 2, 3 over 2, 5 over 2. Whatever your a value is, the 1, 3, 5 pattern gets multiplied by that. And the last thing we noticed is if the a value is negative, it flips it down. So if you have a negative, your graph goes down instead of going up. All of this leads to something that we call the standard form of the equation. And the standard form is y equals a x minus p squared plus q. So I'm going to put a box around that. If you have the standard form of a parabola, sort of the standard form you used of a line was y equals mx plus b. The b was helpful because it was your y-intercept. The m was your slope. If you have the standard form of your parabola, the p and the q tell you where your vertex is. The a value tells you if it's going up or down, and if it's wider or narrower. And if you want to graph it, you can start with your vertex, and then use your a value to draw other points quickly. So we can look at example one. Example one, they give us a graph, and we need to come up with an equation for this graph. So the first thing we're going to see is, can you tell me where the vertex is? Four comma negative two. 
And if we go over 1, how many do we go down? 1 to this point right there. Look on your graph. You would go over 1, and then you're going down. It looks like 1 and a half, but check your scale here. They're going by 2s, right? Over 1, down 3. Next time you go over 1, how much do you go down? You go from negative 5 down to negative 14. You're going down 9. So if you're doing 3, 9, what's our A value going to be? It's got to be multiplied by 3, right? So here is the standard form of our parabola. Our vertex is at 4, negative 2, and it's flipped down and going over 1, down 3, over 1, down 9. So our A value has to be negative because it's going down. And because it's going 3, 9, it's been multiplied by 3. Our vertex is at 4, so we'd have to go minus 4 to make it go 4 to the right. Minus 2 because it's been moved down 2. All right, try questions right now, 3, 4, 5, and 7. 